All right, today I'm gonna to be showing you guys how to draw isometric shapes using the isometric drawing uh, tool online. Um, so just like the first video, we come over here and we're gonna grab our line segment tool. Um, and again, this shape right here, we're gonna do number two today. Uh, it is one, two, three, four blocks tall. So we're gonna start in the middle somewhere and we're gonna go up one, two, three, four. If we go over, we have one, two, three, four blocks. So we're gonna go one, two, three, four. We're going to go down one, or I should say at an angle one, at an angle one, and then I'm just going to connect this, okay? So now we have our top rectangle face, okay? Same thing with here, we're four blocks tall. So if I go down one, two, three, four, I'm going to connect my shape. So now we have our front shape finished, okay? Front face finished. Next, we're gonna go over one, two, three, four blocks. One, two, three, four, and we're going to connect, okay? So now we have the outer shape completely finished, and now we need to do this inside shape, okay? So uh, on this tool application, it can get a little funky with the coloring. So if you try and do a big shape like this, and I try and go up, you'll see that I actually can't connect it, okay? So what we'll need to do is let's grab our eraser tool and let's actually erase all of this, okay? And you may have to go one, one block at a time or one little line segment at a time. Oop. I don't want this one. Stop. Oop. There we go. Connect that there. Connect that there. Connect that there. And now we have our hole in the middle. Okay. The next part of this, the shading aspect for your top, your front, and your right side face. When you get these half little triangles, it gets, the program gets a little bit confused and it can get messy really quick. So some things that we're gonna try and do is we'll just click green um, and we'll click this down here. And if I try and do the shape right here, you'll actually see that it will go over. And once you do that, you can't color over the top of it. And here's the frustrating part now, when you try and erase this, oh, it starts to erase your lines. So that can get really frustrating. So let's redraw these. And we have just this little tiny triangle we need to color still. So if we, we were using this one and this one would hang over. So let's try a different one. Look at that, I can still color it now. Let's click on our green right there. Perfect. It looks like it's maybe a little miscolored, but we get the gist of it. Let's color our top face. So now we have our top faces done. We'll use, let's use like blue. And we'll use this for our right face. Again, be very careful when you're clicking. It likes to kind of jump in and out. Again, if you have to, oh, just like that. See, now I colored over my shape. Let's go back to this. Let's go back to this. And can I click on this? I can't. So now I get to erase again. And now I need to redraw my lines. No, stop. See, as you guys can see, it's very uh, kind of fidgety. So just, it's going to take a little bit of time to kind of figure this out, and that's okay. Uh, we'll do purple, do some cool colors, okay? Lastly, we'll do our front face. Same thing over here. Look, I can do this one great, but if I do this one, it's going to color above. So let's change it up. Can I color just this? I can. There we go. So now this is how you complete isometric shape number two.